get by. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, InspiredInsider.com, where I interview top founders and entrepreneurs. We're here at IRC in Chicago with Sarach of Chargeback Gurus. And so I need to know how you started this company. There's got to be a great story behind this. Sure. Yes, why not? So we have been a merchant ourselves. And uh, this was in 2003. We were selling uh, supplements online. Okay. What kind of supplements? Uh, health and beauty supplements, okay. skincare products, weight loss supplements. And while we were running the company, we ended up facing a lot of chargebacks and we ended up facing a lot of fraudulent transactions. We had no clue why these are happening because we are so naive and we thought, okay, I'm delivering the product, I'm shipping the products, I have a great product, the customers are going to be happy. But in fact, we found that actually that's not the case. So when the product is famous and when people realize the product has got a demand and they can sell it elsewhere for more money, then a lot of fraudsters try to come and like attack. Like a secondary you. market. Secondary market. Right. So our products had a huge demand. So we had a lot of chargebacks that are facing us. We found that this is because of stolen credit cards. So people have got us credit card from somewhere else. They used it for the transaction. And also we have found that uh. even regular customers, they wanted to buy the product. And they say, you know what, I didn't place the order. And then they file a dispute. So this has been an ongoing problem, and what we did was actually we created... How stressful was that at the time? And talk about from a founder's perspective, uh, you know, what you were feeling at the time. Well, we were having actually close to $50,000 in lost revenue every month wow. due to chargebacks and fraud. So our net sales was close to $500,000 a month. Jeez. And you could imagine like $50,000, 10% of your revenue is gone because of fraud and chargebacks. Very stressful, and uh, luckily... Plus, they could probably shut you down, absolutely. right? Because if you, you have, can't do even you can't any do money. Business. So what we have also figured out is, even though we have done everything right, the proof of burden falls on us. So you as a merchant has to give all the supporting documents. The customer can just call the bank and file a dispute and say, hey, I never authorized yeah. it. So we have been so overwhelmed and bombarded with all the paperwork, trying to figure out how to do this, what kind of documentation are needed. It was a real pain. And we ended up spending a lot of time and resources to fight these disputes, not in an effective manner. It took us almost a year to figure it out what is a better plan to actually streamline this and do it in an efficient manner. Then actually we started, you know, um, we sold the business and we were very successful. So we sold our... You sold the health and supplement business. Health and supplement business. Then we actually started doing this for other clients because we thought, you know what, there must be a need. If I'm facing it, the chances are everybody else in the e-commerce space is doing it. Right. So we actually started working with a couple of retail merchants who were selling their products online. And because of our efficiency and what we have learned through this, we were able to recover up to 83% chargebacks for them. Wow. And we were also able to reduce their fraud by up to like 45%. Mm -hmm. Clients were super impressed. They started bringing in more businesses. Their network. So how do you do that? When someone comes on board, what happens? So when somebody comes on board, we do a risk and vulnerability assessment. We don't want to simply blame the customer and say the customer is at fault. You're clean. We also find out that the merchant has been very ethical. in their You process. get to the truth. We get to the root causes of the chargebacks. Right. So we try to find out how much is it the true fraud that's really happening and how much is it the problem that's happening due to your internal issues. See, yeah. And we built a proprietary system right now where e-commerce businesses can come online. They can actually figure out what their problem is. Our system is sophisticated enough to tell them this is where the problem is. 35% of the problem is happening due to your back office. 35% yeah. is happening due to free fraud. And we also implement the solutions for the clients. So we help them identify the problem. We tell them the solution and our system also tracks their progress because we wanted to give them a recommendation and we want them to know if it is really helping them control fraud and chargebacks. We have been very successful. We have been featured on Payments Journal and we have also been featured on several other channels because they truly value the education we give the merchants. Most of the time, small and medium businesses, they wanted to do an honest job. They wanted to sell a product. They wanted to make it a win-win for the customer and for them. But because they don't understand how fraud and chargebacks can affect them, they are actually at a loss. Yeah. So we actually come as a merchant advocate and we help them, you know, run their business efficient. And we also actually create a streamlined process so that right. they don't have to worry about chargebacks and fraud. 
You know, Sir, what's interesting is people don't want to hear they have internal problems, but you probably uncover a lot of internal issues. What are some of the main ones, big mistakes people are making internally that they didn't even know? That's an added value that you provide. Absolutely. Great question, by the way. So one of the challenges that companies always face is when they have a customer service support, we tell them that make sure you answer the calls in less than 40 seconds. Merchants don't realize if you put the customer on hold for more than two yeah. minutes, they are upset. They're calling their bank and filing a dispute. That's worth its weight in gold, everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we actually tell them, make sure you answer the customer service calls on time. And also we tell them, make sure you have customer service people who are passionate about customer service. A customer is calling you with a problem. If your customer service agent is not knowledgeable about your product or they're not able to offer a solution, that's going to turn into a chargeback. And the most important thing which we have seen a lot of merchants are affected by is the refund policy. We tell them, keep your refund policy as simple as possible. Don't make it a hassle for them to return it. If a customer says they don't like it, don't keep giving them rebuttals to save the customer. So right. keep it as simple. Right. So these are some of the tips we share with you. You have some great tips. Well, we have been doing this for 13 years, so... We have been working with a lot of merchants trying to identify the problem. So, Serge, so what's been the proudest moment for you with well, the proudest moment Chargeback Gurus? We have close to 750 merchants. We have recovered more than $10 million in lost wow, revenue. That's amazing. Yep. And uh, thank you. And uh, we have uh, reduced the ch fraud by up to 45%. So, we are very happy. And the software tool that we have introduced has been helping a lot of merchants yeah. who were actually naive like us. Now they have a valuable tool which can keep them better protected. So who's your ideal customer? Well, our ideal customer is anybody who's selling a product online yeah. and medium scale, anywhere between yeah. 5,000 orders to you know about 50,000 orders a day. We also work with some of the largest retail merchants, but sometimes the small merchants are the one who do not know how to protect themselves. Yeah. And we come in and we advise them on how to protect their businesses. Yeah. So these are, they are our biggest clients. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much from IRC Chicago. What website should people check out? Well, people should go to chargebackgurus.com, and uh, that's where they can reach out to us. Also, we have a blog. We have given a lot of information for merchants to educate themselves yeah. how to protect themselves. That's a great resource for them to go. Educate yourself. Make sure you are aware of what's happening in your industry because knowledge is power. The more aware you are, the more you are actually going to run your business successfully. So that's the sincere advice I would like to give. So all I have to ask this. You know, I was going to end it, but... You know, you started a company that was doing $500,000 a month, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So talk about some of the, the tips from growing that. How did you initially start growing that company, getting traction? Well, one of the things actually... That's amazing. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And one of the things actually that we always kept is the core value of the business. Have a product which is absolutely the best in the industry. What was the... What, can, I don't know if you can say what were some of the best-selling products. Well, one of our best-selling product was actually the skincare product okay. that can help people... Uh, get rid of the skin dryness. So we were very efficient in manufacturing the product. Our manufacturer said, hey, you know what? You can cut cost. You don't have to put expensive ingredients. But we said, no. We want to provide the absolute yeah. best to our clients. So we do not want to compromise on the quality. So when you have a quality product, people are going to just come to you. And the yeah. word of mouth expands like crazy. We figured out about 20% of our business came through word yeah. of mouth when we were selling our yeah. own product yeah. because we do not want to compromise on the quality. And we absolutely made sure we had the best customer service possible for all our clients. Besides word of mouth, what was working to get traction? Well, uh, we were actually doing uh, Google. Google was our best yeah. uh, best sales. And Amazon, our product was 4.5 star rated. We had a lot of sales through Amazon. That was a great source. Yeah. And also people were giving positive reviews thanks to them. When they love the product, they are happy to give a review. And yeah. that goes a long way for us. Yeah. So Amazon was a great yeah. source. We were selling our products through Google and Bing. That was a great source. And most important, the word of mouth businesses. We also had a customer referral program. So when they refer their uh, you know, family or friends, yeah, yeah. we gave them actually 20% discount on their next oh, order. Wow. That was a huge success yeah. for us as well. So Rash from Chargeback Gurus, he's not only the founder of this, but he has run successful e-commerce, so he knows what it's like. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you very much for the time, and I really appreciate you yeah. actually having the interview. Thank you. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.